In terms of uh, why Duke, uh, Duke has a very long track record of training um, great uh, surgeons, um, both in general surgery, cardiothoracic surgery, and many other uh, of the training programs here. Uh, the, part of the reason I came here was the emphasis, em emphasis on uh, academics. Uh, the cardiothoracic surgery training program here over the past 10 years has had um, only six people uh, not go into academic surgery as their first uh, job and two of those people were in uh, military. Um, so uh, not only do they speak about uh, training academic sur surgeons here but they uh, also have a proven track record for it. Um, so that was uh, one of the main reasons why coming here. It goes without saying that the training here will be fantastic, but that was also true for many other training programs I considered. For fellowship, the quality of the training is all sometimes not enough. What I also considered was fit, and not just for me, but also for my family. We weighed the pros and cons both for our career paths as well as the cost of living in a city when we had two small children, as well as the social support that would be provided. But in the end, it, it came down to the people. As I said, the training will be fantastic, but your co-fellows and your faculty are the family that you don't get to choose and you spend more time with them than your own family. In Duke, I found a, a environment of collegiality, of support, and general concern for everybody's well-being, which was rather antithetical to their historic reputation. But also very importantly, I found faculty that cared about me both as a person and as a trainee who were also leading careers and providing quality patient care in a way that I would hope to emulate. So, uh, you know, at Duke, after our uh, second clinical year or third clinical year, we have the option to go into the lab um, to kind of get additional training in a, um, kind of either in research, in a research laboratory or some other kind of unique opportunities. And for me, you know, I've always liked mechanical uh, devices and um, within cardiac surgery and uh, I chose to do a PhD in biomedical engineering here at Duke. Um, it was really an incredible opportunity where I got to work with a number of different um, engineering faculty here um, on developing unique model systems to studying uh, a number of different topics related to uh, cardiac uh, disease. I'm doing things as a fourth year cardiothoracic surgery resident that I didn't think I would do until my last year of training. For example, this week I did my first double valve case. I didn't think I was going to be doing that until I was a chief resident. Um, and I think to me that speaks about the confidence that the program has in their trainees that um, a resident of my level is being put in these cases. Um, but I think it also uh, gives a lot of credit to the amount of training that I've had in the past, both, both in the general surgery realm, um, but also um, with cardiothoracic surgery very early on. Um, I feel comfortable in the operating room at this point. I feel that I'm well integrated into the division as far as um, having rapport with the um, other residents and with the faculty. Um, and all of that contributes to a positive learning experience in the operating room. I also love the operating room staff. Uh, they make me happy every day. Um, all of that contributes to a positive learning experience and I think it really has paid off as far as um, evidence in what I'm getting to do these days in the operating room. Being here in the cardiothoracic surgery training program at Duke, I feel very well supported by not only my colleagues, as well, but also the ancillary staff and the attendings here. It doesn't matter what time of night or any time that I have any questions, everybody is available through either by cell phone or by text or by a simple page. There has never been a time where I felt that I was not supported or not had a question that I cannot get answered by any one here in the department. As I'm nearing the ending of my surgical career, I'm starting my job hunt. And the path of uh, a career search has led me to understand that the cardiothoracic surgery department at Duke has provided me such great training that I am prepared to face whatever pathology or cases that might come my way during my training. The most important part that Duke has imparted upon me is that this is a lifelong learning process. 
and that I have received not only world-class training, but also the preparation that I would need when I start my academic job or whatever job that I choose moving forward.